June last year I went to an event at a bar in Brick Lane called Monty's and um, they were doing an exhibition, an amazing art and I met some females, they're like yeah I do, I do stencils, another one's like I do graffiti, another one does I do street art, another one does I do digital design and I started talking, I was like are there many women in the scene, they were like mm, not sure, I think so but I haven't really met them. When I spoke to the guys they were like yeah I've met a few, I've met a few, I've met a few and then I started going to gallery shows and I realised that I thought that it was all only men, it was only men, only only men. So I got really irritated and I was like, where are the women, where are the women? So I thought, let me see on, on internet if there's ever been an all-female street art show in London. Couldn't find anything. In the UK, couldn't find anything. I just thought, how weird. When I first did my research, I, had to, I went online like, female street art, female street artist, female street art London, female street art UK and then when I then left Google UK and went to google.com where are these people I couldn't find any and I think the first thing I found was um, Bambi and they had Bambi slash the female Banksy so she had to be attached to a man so Femme Fierce was a um, all-female Leak Street takeover organized by the street art agency and they basically got a load of uh, women street artists together to try and break the world record for the largest um, number of uh, female painters, spray painters, um, creating a mural at the same time. 4,000 people walking in a tunnel taking pictures, people filming, and then 100 women doing something very masculine and taking over the men's, taking over, kicking out the men and taking over. That was the idea. Women were around, um, you know, on the scene, you know, painting stuff and doing a lot of street art before Femme Fierce. But I think Femme Fierce brought people together a little bit more and, uh, and after Femme Fierce I certainly noticed a lot more collaborations going on and a lot more sort of women getting together and, and, and working with, with other artists, not just women. You know, but just actually being, I don't know, maybe being more confident and, and, and just getting out there a little bit more after Femme Fierce. And I think that was a very, very important moment in terms of the history of um, women and street art, particularly in London in this area. In from Fierce you know, it's an event that was happening in March, April, March, and it was a female street art kind of day, um, and we were doing the record of the biggest uh, mural painted with a group, and it was only women, and it was like nearly hundreds of people uh, painting together, and that's how that that's how I met most of the girls, basically Amara, Anna. Even sometimes you can do collaboration, so you do a drawing before. So you prepare the, the sketch, but today I'm doing just my own drawing. So it's a mix with the cat and then now you can see the, the drawings. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's what I'm doing now and yeah. So we often meet up, we get permission to get some walls and once we get the permission we call everybody we know. <laughs> All the good ones, <laughs> and we come and meet up and, and we paint together.
definitely I like just painting big kind of indoors at home I'm limited by the size of canvas I can make so otherwise I can't get it back out of the house so it's much bigger it's kind of a lot freer so it's like a lot more just arm movements just to paint which is really nice um, it's different from the canvas because I don't take as long on it either so I normally do kind of one this size in about five or six hours and then the canvas it might take me two weeks so yeah but a bit different so at home I kind of layer up the paints a lot more and spend a lot more time on it yeah I haven't really done that many walls either so hopefully I'll do a few more this year it was really weird because I, I didn't really kind of put my art into a category but um, it seems to have got put into urban art quite naturally I think it's maybe because of the style rather than the subjects that I paint um, but I like a lot of urban art I'm quite inspired by it so I think it works quite well for me an event called Femme Fierce I think it was a few months ago and I think there were I can't remember if it was 100 or 40 different artists and they were all women and we all had to paint one wall together so it was at Leak Street Well I've been painting for a long time but to take that seriously maybe I would say three years it's hard to define because it's not like you wake up one day and you decide to say okay it's going to be serious it's just happened slowly so I was painting and then I met the people from Airwall Crew six years ago I was painting with them but definitely not as much as I do now I paint girls because well, it's not that I want to paint girls, I want to um, paint shapes and colours and girls are the best way for me to, to express the contrast of, you know, body curves with like big bits of fabrics and patterns and so I could just draw fabric but it's, it's something missing and something alive in, in it so then I suppose because I'm a woman, I'm more attracted to paint women. It just makes more sense and it's just easier for me. It really depends what I want. And if I can't find what I want online, then I just, I just do it. But with Hannah, it's a bit, it's a bit different because we, it's a collaboration. So we have to talk what we want to do and, and we have little, little time to decide what to do. And we just met up yesterday in the afternoon, decided what we want to do and then just have one day to paint so I mean outside you have to play around with the you know with the spot you have to there's like something very spontaneous coming while in a gallery you know you can plan lock time in advance it's going to be white walls or whatever color walls you want to put but it's just going to be very smooth and easy and outside it's either bricks it's either concrete or it can be like next to bushes or it really depends and every time it's different so I like the fact that you know you come to a place and it's different and you have to work out something that matched the place and you know conditions are different as well because you've got usually a limited time to paint outside so it's just a kind of one shot thing. graffiti well they think you just start a fight you know if you cross somebody so you can cross somebody by just going over with a line like Shh, 
or just painting over it for more other people. But this one, for example, because it got tagged all over it. So we got the permission to paint her on, over it. But she's a friend of ours. This girl. I think this is my seventh work. Because <laughs> I've been doing a lot of studio work as well. A lot of, yeah, just painting on canvas. And there was this festival, Farm Tears, and that was the first festival I did. I mean, I always wanted to do it, well, even before that, but I never really sort of had a chance. And then it was still quite cold because it was the winter time before. I actually studied architecture, um, but I was drawing and painting since I was, since I remember really, and I went to art schools before that. When you paint in the street, a lot of times you get I mean, painting in, um, in your studio is it's kind of lonely, you know, it's much more... If you don't have that much time, you have too much time to, to think, you know, so you like... You just sit there and think. Well, in the street, you have to improvise a little bit more. You, and you know that whatever you do, it's just, it has to be finished that day or the day after, and, and you kind of touch it. So it's, it's more... I don't know. It's really cool to actually be able to do something in the street and then be passing next to it, say, well, once in a while and, and still see the piece over there and, and just know that um, you made it um, because it's just a completely different way of, of working to compare with uh, studio work because that's, you have just a certain amount of time and you just need to finish it because it's going to stay there for a while. So. Um, and also, it really helps to develop your, your style because it's spray paint. It's a, it's a medium on its own that you need to master in order to be good at it, obviously. Before Film Fears, I knew Amara. I didn't know her in person, but I knew her work. Hey, Nafat. Hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that event really put us all, all together. So it all started in March. For me, myself, personally, I think some of them, they knew each other already, but I was kind of like, yeah, not really part of the of the whole girl crew thing, but um, yeah, I think everything started with from fears mostly. To know the girls because we are not too many of us, so <laughs> when we when we see each other in, in any event, it's always nice. We definitely a minority. Like there's many much more guys doing it, but there, but also there's some people that you wouldn't know they are females. That you've got, uh, you, we kind of see it now. Faith 47, she makes these massive murals. There's one inside the car park now. And I always thought it was a guy. And then I found out it's this uh, South African lady. And I was, I was quite surprised myself. That happens as well. Sometimes I, I'm surprised myself that they are, they are female. Well, yeah, sometimes it, when you paint a wall, it's part of a bigger project for the city and then you're lucky enough and they actually pay you to do it. Or maybe you can be a sponsor by either a gallery or, or a spray paint brand. And then at least you get your, your paint covered, which is pretty good, but sometimes you also get paid for it, which is why I made a mur My first paid mural is now around the corner from here. And that was for a shoe brand. So sometimes you can also do like commercial work if you do it very subtle, you know, you're going to really see that it's an advertisement, but... Um, and then they can cover your costs and your time, and that's, that's pretty good. because it's like freedom for me I, I like to paint big and on the streets it's more you like closer to the like people because you're not just at home like you share it to everyone and I met lots of friends and like good contacts just painting on the street I've been painting with tear, box head, uh, 
second bitches. And I think I have a <laughs> I knew second bitches, but I thought she was a guy. <laughs> So I was surprised it was a girl. And, and one time I painted with my with my friend and we did a collaboration and everyone thought it was his piece. Everyone said to him, oh that's really good to him. No one said anything to me. I think they thought maybe I was just helping or you know the girlfriend or whatever. But just because you're a girl they think I don't know, they don't think it's you sometimes that painted it. Or sometimes I get paid, but usually I have to pay for the paint and everything myself. So I used to do it because I love to do it and yeah. no one's really paying you to do it. I like my work to be seen by everyone and that's a good way.